Does this count as a landing? Uh, over the over the door. Push button. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Oh no! Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with Sinking Ship Survival. So, today we are going to be checking out an epic ship. And there is a terminal that goes along with this. So this is by Scootly Poodly. I think I'm saying that right. That's actually a really... A really cool name, I must say. But yeah, we have this creative island terminal, and we have the SS Haynes Park. But yeah, if you want to check out these items, I'll have them linked in the description. And if you guys have any suggestions for future Stormworks episodes, whether it be more Sinking Ship Survival, uh, more multiplayer, let me know what you want to see down in the comment section below. And maybe hit that thumbs up button. And I think we're ready to go uh, on a little bit of an adventure here. So first, I must admire the craftsmanship of the terminal here. This is a part of the environmental update where you can spawn in buildings. And this looks actually gorgeous. I love this. Uh, it gives me, I guess, I would say the early 1905, maybe 1920s, 30s. I don't know. I don't think this ship is actually real. I have to read a little bit more about it. But yeah, you've got enough room here for... Uh, I guess two boats if you wanted to stick one on this side uh, actually three I don't think you're getting one beside that one right now not unless it's a small boat but it's still cool seeing objects like that so uh, let's go ahead and climb aboard the Haynes Park uh, is there an area I'm supposed to jump uh, you know what we're just gonna jump on it here we go by the way it's also using uh, the new ropes update so you can see the, all the ropes that are actually going up to the, the top there that looks pretty cool all right, so there's a couple things I need to get done before we actually uh, launch the ship here. I need to find the generator room, which I believe is down towards the bottom. Plus, we can kind of learn the layout. Oh, there's the engineering room here, but how do we get into this one? Uh, okay. All right, so I found the exterior lights. I couldn't find an engineering area I needed to go in, so I'm going to go ahead and get moving real quick. And we're going to pull away from the uh, the dock here. And then I'll find the uh, interior lights. Uh, there's an all lights button. Can I just hit that? Oh, by the way, did we just bop the thing? No, we're good. So does all lights work for interior also? Oh, no, the interiors are still not lit. All right, I'll have to figure those out. I just want to get aimed outward. And we're going to get out into deep waters here, which actually our trajectory looks pretty good right now. Uh, wind's pretty calm right now. It will pick up. There's a couple, looks like, shallow rocks over to the left side. So let's go ahead and aim a little to the right here. All right, so we should be clear to go check this out. But, yeah, this is a pretty glorious-looking ship. Pretty big. Not the biggest that we've ever checked out. But it's probably a good thing for the frame rate. But, yeah, let's go see if we can find that uh, generator room. I guess while we're here, we're kind of going on a tour. You've got your main staircase. Upper class is up there. B deck, I'm assuming, is like your middle class. All the cabins here. Uh, let's see. Main hold. Crew only. Maybe it's in here somewhere. All right, we've made our way into lower class right now. There's like little dining halls in here or dining saloons. All right, so we've got all that. I need to find this generator room. Like I said, there's an engineering door, but I can't seem to get in it. So what is behind this door? Well, you know what? So there's the button. It's right up at the top. Okay, so this is probably going to take us down to the generator if I can find a way to walk through these walls. There we go. All right, watertight door, watertight door. What's what? Oh, this is definitely the engines. Uh, I'm assuming we got something to activate generators here. Yeah, what's nice about this ship, it comes already cranked up, so you're ready to roll. It's just a matter of finding the generator room. Uh, that way we can actually activate the lights here. All right, so I'm looking for six breakers. I do not see them. I actually think they might be up in the ship somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, let's go find that real quick. But at least gave you guys a look at the engine room. All right, here we go, generator room. So, yeah, it was somewhat down by the engine room. Okay, so look for... Where's our levers at? Uh, okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. That's, I guess, the different decks there. A deck, B deck, C deck. There we go. Holy man, it got bright in here. Uh, I might get a little bit of lag with all the lights. But, oh yeah, this thing is bright. Oh, geez. All right, so we're going to try to get out on deck. Yeah, there's a lot of light in this thing. It's actually quite impressive. Uh, plunge bath. Oh, that's kind of a thing. I guess, yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming they all shared showers and baths and all that. 
in a ship like this. I'm pretty sure your cabin doesn't include that. Wait, does, does the cabin even include, like, a toilet? Or is that maybe, like, an upper-class thing? I don't know. All right, let's go and open this. All right, so we are out on the main deck. Let's go ahead and walk towards the back here. Uh, this is pretty glorious. Let's go over maybe a little photo mode tour. That way we make sure we don't lose anything. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome little ship here. Looks like you got some dining areas up here in the top. Uh, there is, looks like the kitchen right here. Uh, I don't know what the heck that was on the wall. Uh, they're serving something in those. <laughs> And yeah, the wheelhouse is actually in a pretty cool position too. I like how it's elevated up here. So yeah, you got your wheelhouse up there. And then I'm assuming that's going to be flares. So yeah, that's a thing too. All right, and so here's the front. Now, there is one thing that the ship is lacking. There are no lifeboats on this. So this is going to be a sink where it's going to be kind of interesting <laughs> to see how we're going to survive here. Uh, it just said that there wasn't going to be any lifeboats on this particular ship. So, we're going to be going down with the ship. I'm hoping that wherever this thing ends up, it's at least close to some islands. So, like always, let's go ahead and crank up the snow and wind. Oh, yeah, it looks dramatic. By the way, there's snow everywhere right now. It's like a part of the Christmas update. So, we're not actually in the Arctic. Uh, we're at the mainland, but yeah. It's snowing instead of raining. You know, I bet you this ship looks gorgeous at night because there's just so many lights on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. It is actually fairly well lit. And check out the inside. Like, the inside, there's lights everywhere. So, yeah, definitely not a ship that you would have problems walking around in. I'm kind of curious. I saw from the pictures, it looks like it might lose electricity once it starts going down, so maybe we should make this somewhat of a night sink. It actually looks gorgeous outside. You got the snow, you got the big waves, and you got the ship out here. So what I'm seeing ahead of us looks like we're about to be in really open water, so we'll see how the waves get out here and see if this ship can handle them. All right, let's get a status check. We are getting out deep. This is creepy looking. Uh, you can see the outline of the waves. There is one island out there. It looks to be the refinery island, but it's so tough to see right now. Uh, I think we have some fog rolling in. You got the massive waves. Let's go ahead and do a little check. What would it be like being on this ship and being, say, maybe in the dining hall or something? Well, let's go into upper class here. Uh, here's the dining hall. Yeah, totally your drinks would just sit there. It'd be fine. <laughs> All right, everything's okay right now. The ship's doing a really, really good job with the waves. Like, some of these ships have disclaimers on it where it says, if you turn it to 100, it's going to immediately tip over, but not this ship. Uh, it's doing a really good job. We're going to need it, too, because, yeah, I'm a little afraid about not having lifeboats. Uh, question is, you know, my character's not cold, so obviously the snow's not affecting uh, the character like it does... Uh, out in the Arctic, but I'm pretty sure if we hit the water, we're going to have a limited amount of time to get to safety. Man, look at those waves and... But... Wait, did we just lose power? Wait, what the heck? Um... Well, this is not good. Wait, what the heck just happened? Why did we lose power? Oh, exterior lights on? What the... Okay, we have limited power right now. Wait... Are we not generating? Oh, we need to go down to the engine room. Uh, this could be really bad. Because this ship does have a scuttle on it. And, okay, there's power to the doors. I hope that scuttle didn't open up yet. Um, okay, let's make our way down to engineering. This is creepy. Alright, so everything just literally shut off on us. Uh, let's see, crew only. Oh, boy. Okay, engineering... All right, let's go see if we can fire these back up. Oh, oh, push that open. Oh, I didn't know you could push those back. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and attempt to go down. We're still rocking really bad right now. All right, let's see. Here's the engines. What happened? Water pumps on, steam injectors, steam valves. Uh, is there actually... Is it this? Uh, come on. Is there a way to crank this back up? Folks, we have a, an emergency here. I didn't expect... Wow, we're listing. 
I didn't expect to be in uh, this type of situation. We're listing bad, and it's not coming back either. Uh-oh. Okay, so the watertight door... Okay, are those actually sealed, or are they, they're they loose, I think? All right, so I have a new objective here. Can we survive until the morning in these waves? Something happened when the power went off, because look at the ship now. It's leaned over all the way. Why would the power have any effect on that? All right, is there actually, hold on, let's go back down. Wait, generator room, let's go back up to it real quick. Uh, I hope we can open these doors. Uh, I think we should be able to, oh, get up on this. All right, uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it is hard to stay up on anything here. All right, here's the exit, generator room is, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 you're good, you're good, ship. Uh, wait. Those watertight doors, they've sealed themselves. So uh-uh. No, 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 I didn't just get trapped in the hole, did I? Hold on, push, push the door. Can I push it open? No. No, 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 no. That's, okay, that's not good. Are you serious? Did we just trap ourselves in the engine room? No. All right, that's, uh, okay, this is, no, this isn't good at all because now I can't get back up here. Hold on, push the door, push against it. I can't nudge it because it nudges out. Are you serious? So it closed and now we're stuck. Hold on, I can't, this doesn't like manually open the door. No, it don't think it does, are you kidding me? <laughs> we just doomed ourselves. Uh, yeah, no, this is great. Uh, I enjoy being stuck in down here. Uh, this is, yeah, this is the thing. Hold on, steam injectors. Everything's dead, like completely dead. We don't have an emergency switch, do we? Uh, oh great. What does this even look like on the outside? So, the ship appears to be, and you guys can barely see it here because there's no lights, but the ship is listing really bad, and I don't know if it's taken on water, but we have a watery grave in here. I can't get past these doors. There's no emergency way to open these. You can push against them, but they push outward. They don't go inward that much because you can see like, I'm moving it a bit, but I can't get it open. That's a huge issue here. Uh, we can't... Yeah, I can't even play with any of the buttons in here. It's completely dead. Is there an island near us? Uh, is there an island with a spawn? I almost think we should get a helicopter or a plane. I know it's going to break the whole, this was the 1900s, but I'm stuck in here. There is nothing I can do. All right, I need to fast travel. We'll travel back down... I guess either that or it's going to despawn because it's a mission. All right, so we're in a bit of a pickle here. I'm going to set a waypoint back, and we're going to jump up to this island, grab something that goes in the air. All right, so we're really in a unique circumstance here. I didn't picture any of this happening, so I got to grab something that goes in the air, and I guess we're going to fly back out to it. So I guess we'll grab the uh, old Ace of Spades here. There we go. Uh, let's see if the boat's still even there. So yeah, if you're familiar with Stormworks' system, unless there's a stay active block on the boat, there's a potential that it despawned uh, when I had to travel back this way. But this is now just a very unique set of circumstances. I don't even know if the scuttle button works anymore. Like, either it's gonna go down on its own, or I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. We might have to actually respawn it and just hit the scuttle button and experience the sink. So yeah, I probably should have read and see if there was a way it was draining or if there was a different sort of generator I should have cranked up. I don't know really what caused that thing to lose power, but yeah, it's definitely dead. Uh, let's see, how close are we? We're like a kilometer out? Yeah, one kilometer out. So if it's gonna appear, it should appear here right when we get to the 800 meter mark, I think, or 900, there it goes. Uh, I think the boat's still here. Don't crash, Stormworks. Don't crash. There it is. Oh, is it sinking? Uh, it kind of looked like it was sinking there for a second. All right, let's try to get out here. Let's see if any of the buttons work. All right, so yeah, this boat is straight up stranded here. And it's not a modern boat, so I don't have a landing pad. Uh, I got a parachute. That's a thing. Huh, that's the first. I don't think I remember seeing uh, helicopters with parachutes. That's pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna try to land on this thing real quick that is uh that's something oh 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 is this does this count as a landing uh, over the over the door push button uh, there we go 
Oh, no. Oh, okay. Watch out for the blades. Uh, let's try not to get killed by the blades. It's fine. All right. So, do we have any sort of helm control here? Can we, can we start it back up? Nope. It is dead. Completely dead. And I think the... Oh, great. That looks like it's tipping it over. Oh! And that just exploded. And we're tipped. Hey, we were really close to an island. There's potential we could have survived this. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go down. All right, let's pry open a door here. You know what? There's a chance this is going to go down. The doors, a lot of them are open. Like, look at this. Uh, if there's outside doors open, that means there's water pouring into this right now. Question is, where are those outside doors? Oh, can't push that open. Uh, folks, we're going down. There's water pouring into this thing. Uh, what's the next deck down? Is there, there's another one in there? Okay, a lot of these doors, main hold. Uh, yeah, I don't have anywhere to go, but she's definitely taking on water. Uh, that's what I was fearing was going to happen. Uh, surprised it hadn't actually gone down yet. All right, now's probably a good time to fire off those flares if they still work. Nope, the distress rockets are even dead, too. <laughs> That's just depressing. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I guess we can stand up here. What island is that? Is there anything? No, there's nothing living on that. That's an uninhabited island? I don't think there's even a spawn on there. Where's the next nearest island? Yeah, that would definitely be in this situation if you're going down, which I didn't even realize we were that close to one. That's your survival point. Now, the question is, can you swim that distance without dying in the game? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're about to figure that out. Uh, we better do a status check on the water. <laughs> oh, it's getting, it's getting to where it's leaning so bad right now. But is there water accumulating down here? Uh, at what point should I just get off the ship? I mean, I probably should be off it now, but uh, don't fall into that. All right, so that's tipping there. Oh, dear. It feels like I'm basically walking on the wall now. I am walking on the wall. Yep, she's tipping. Okay, hold on. Let's get back out of the door. Okay, I got to skip over this door here. Uh, okay, duck. Hey, wait for it. Come on. It's so hard to walk on right now. Okay, it's probably time to go. Uh, think, think, think. Okay, we need to get over this door real quick. Oh, and here it comes. It's coming back a little bit. All right, let's go over this door. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, look at all the water pouring in. That's ridiculous. All right, let's uh, see if we can survive getting out of that island. Whoa, whoa. Okay, the boat just shifted. Wait. What the heck? All right, we got water coming in on this side now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um, nope. Okay, I guess we're walking over here. Okay, A deck. Ooh, dear. So, yeah, the boat completely shifted. I think it's flooding faster now. All right, go through here. Okay, where's that island at? Uh, I think it's up on this side. Wait, there. All right, there it is. Oh, no, we're actually getting further away from it. All right, we need to go. Uh, do you guys think we're going to be able to survive that swim? Oh, we're about to figure out right now. Oh, oh, yeah, she's tipping. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so you see the cold meter. All right, let's go. Just start cruising. Okay, it's not going down that fast, but actually, you know what? We actually have the waves working with us. Yeah, check that out. The waves are coming at our back here. Yep, uh, I think that boat is pretty much gone now. All right, let's go. Uh, it's going to be close. It's a little further away than it looks. We'll see if we can make it, though. Oh, uh, you can see the boat going. <laughs> uh, I think we got off just in time, but it's going to be so close. We're almost halfway down on the cold meter. Does it last once I get out of the water? I don't know. It's so weird because we're in a unique situation since it isn't the Arctic. I think as soon as I hit land... Uh, that hypothermia little bar will go away and I won't die hopefully all right So the hypothermia little meter has slowed down for some reason Like it's actually stopped. I think I think we're good Yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to make it to the island, but I don't know why it stalled out there It started moving fast and then it stopped Is somehow the water right here not as cold? I don't know. We'll know for sure once we get up on land Where's the is the boat gone? I think I see at the very top of the boat. I think it's pretty much gone now. All right, let's just see if there's anything on this island. It'd be nice if there was a warm fire or a heater. All right, here we go. Is our little meter going to disappear? Oh, I'm getting tossed around here. Come on, get up on the shore. You're almost there, buddy. 
And we're here. Okay, so the meter isn't going away, but it isn't getting any worse. Uh, hold on, let's try to get up here. Uh, see if we can make our way to the top of this. Yeah, there is nothing on this island at all. Hey, there's a bird up there. I can make a friend or we can eat them. Uh, is there any trees? Would we be able to survive? Actually, there's another island beyond this. Which island was that? By the way, the boat. The boat is still somewhat up. Like, it's like tilted all the way sideways, but it's like holding. Uh, there was an island beyond this. I wonder if that was an island that has stuff on it. Oh, this is two islands, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there's like this little thing in between them. Hold on, let's go up. What island is that? I think there's stuff on that island. Hold on, let's look real quick. Oh, that's the multiplayer island we came from. You know what? We definitely would have survived this. Yeah, look at that. The cold meter's filling back up, even though it's like a blizzard outside. Now, this is, uh, this is perfectly fine. The boat's going down. Uh, I think we made the right call there to get off the ship. But yeah, that was definitely a little bit different. The whole fact that we had to travel back out to the ship because it didn't actually... Uh, or I guess it lost power and we got stuck in the engine room. That would have been very, very hopeless and not a fun way to die. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Sinking Ship Survival. And we will see you guys next time.